Hello guys, this is T-Pup here, here with a video in fucking 9 in the afternoon. With a video that probably no one fucking expected, because it's been a, it's been quite a few months since I've made a video on this franchise, but uh... Yeah, we are here today with another tier list, which is another one we haven't done, which is another thing we haven't done in a while. And it is the Power Rangers series tier list. Now... I haven't talked about this franchise nearly as much on my channel as some other ones, but I fucking love Power Rangers. I, I used to watch it quite a bit when I was younger, and then it's one of my childhood shows that I still feel like holds up well today, for the most part. I, I pretty much like nearly most seasons from the start up to the end of the Disney era, and there's some good stuff after that too, but the best ones, in my opinion, are... Well, before Nickelodeon got the rights, but, uh, yeah, before I spoiled, <laughs> before I end up spoiling too much of the list, uh, yeah, this is gonna be ranging, well, actually, most of the series, uh, I've seen, like, none of the fucking Hasbro seasons, because I, because I think, like, in 2019 or 18, uh, Hasbro got the rights to Power Rangers, and, yeah, I haven't seen Beast Morphers or Dino Fury or whatever's out now. But I have seen a majority of these seasons. Now, this wasn't the order that they were in when I went into this list. So, what I did was I rearranged each season to be in chronological order. So, you know, we could go by each season as they were released. So, Mighty Morphin first, Zeo second, and so on and so forth. But, uh, yeah, we, this is a pretty lengthy list, uh, quite a bit. But, uh... Yeah, okay, and also to specifically mention, uh, the four, uh, Nickelodeon seasons, they have actually, I think, two seasons per each one, and that's because they, uh, like, they have another season which focuses on super stuff, or, like, basically upgrades to the originals, like Super Samurai, Super Megaforce, that type of deal. I'm gonna be counting them both in one spot, and I'm just gonna give my general opinion on each one one as a whole, but, uh, yeah, anyways, now, enough rambling, let's actually get to this tier list, and the first one we're starting with is the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I don't think this series is aged the greatest. Now, when I say that, I am not saying I think the series is bad, and crap, I actually do like Mighty Morphin, uh, yeah, granted, I definitely think that some people look at this show, or this season of the show, through rose-colored glasses, because, yeah, it, 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 when it comes to stuff like storytelling, it's definitely really not that good, and I, I think just character-wise, I do think there are later series with better characters, but this was the first one, and it, it did have some really goofy, cheesy charm, well, it had a lot of cheese, but I think it does have its own charm, and even though I think storytelling-wise, or, like, yeah, like, story-wise, I don't think it's that great, that the original cast and, like, the characters are really what makes this show at least good. So, I'm going to put it in Ultra Zord. Now, not very high in Ultra Zord tier. This is basically what I like to call the A tier, but I think it's good enough, and it can be fun to watch. Although, like I said... Once we go through the rest of this tier list, there's going to be a lot more that I'm going to be putting above that. Anyways, here we have, <laughs> speaking of that, we have the next one, Power Rangers Zeo. Now, surprisingly, this one seems to be a bit more divisive, which I think is kind of surprising. Now, I, don't, I haven't really come across anyone who really hates Zeo, but the general consensus for the most part tends to be either it's okay, but it's not as good as Mighty Morphin, or... This one is much more boring than Mighty Morphin, or you also have your crew that do think the show is very good, and actually think it's better and improves stuff for Mighty Morphin, and I am in that boat. I actually really liked Zeo. Now, when it came to stuff like storytelling, I definitely think, it, it like, Power Rangers, I still think, needed some work in the storytelling department at this point, because, I mean... I don't know, they, it, it just feels like in these early seasons they aren't the greatest at telling stories, but my opinion, Zeo added a lot of improvements, and I, again, this is truly where they started to actually, you know, try to come up with stories, and yeah, I, I think there was a lot of positives this season, and 
The theme song is very kick-ass, and I just think it's an enjoyable watch. Okay, I may not explain that the best, but to put it simply, I'm putting Zeo and Ultras or Tier along with Mighty Morphin, because, yeah, feel free to disagree with me, but I personally think Zeo is better than Mighty Morphin, or at least like watching it more. Anyways, now on to the less positive aspect, we have Turbo, or the less positive side of things. Uh, yeah, Turbo isn't very good. Now, I do feel like by some people this series is a little bit overhated in, like, very, those very rare aspects, but eh, I can't really ruin myself to defend Turbo that much, because it's just... Not very good. Now, I know a lot of people have read Don Justin, and I don't think he's a horrible character or a horrible ranger, but he just really wasn't that good. And I think this is really where Power Rangers was starting to lose a bit of its steam. And the episodes in the first half are just really not that enjoyable to watch. However, I think the second half when they swap over, swap out the members for some new ones, I, th I think that's where the show does start to improve and it gets better and I also do like the theme song to this one not gonna lie even though it is well at least the one shown in the show is a pretty short or really short but yeah again still not a huge fan of turbo I'm gonna put it in bulk and stroll because I don't think it's complete trash but it's really not that good uh, that's all I have to say now back on to the positive aspects or the positive side of things we have in Space. Now, In Space, in my opinion, is a pretty fucking phenomenal season. Well, maybe I'm slightly over-exaggerating there, but In Space is really fucking good. I think this is a very solid season. And this was actually, at one point, supposed to be the finale to Power Rangers, like, just the franchise as a whole. But I think the ratings ended up saving the franchise, and we ended up getting even more good series later on down the line. But... Yeah, In Space really had pretty much all of it. It had entertaining writing, entertaining characters, uh, very solid fight scenes, a lot of emotional drama and emotion to it. And it's just a really good season all around. And the theme song is great too. So, In Space, we have the first show to be in the Morphin Master tier. And I think it deserves it because what can I really say that hasn't been said already? In Space is a solid season. Okay, the next show we have is a slightly less good, but still very solid show in the franchise. That being Lost Galaxy, which ironically also takes place in space. Although it spans more than just one area, but... Yeah, Lost Galaxy, this is another season where... Okay, I probably should mention this when I was talking about In Space, but... I think In Space is truly the first season where they could actually tell good stories or could actually tell a story in fucking Power Rangers, because, yeah, In Space and Lost Galaxy are both very good in the story department. Okay, sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, the stuff that I did like about Lost Galaxy is, again, just really the, I guess you'd say, emotion to it, and I think this is truly, again, another season where they started to actually make the Rangers more mature, because... In Mighty Morphin and Zeo and Turbo and stuff like that, the I guess you'd say the whole gimmick, well, I don't know if I'd say gimmick, but the whole motif, I guess you'd say, is teenagers with attitude. But pretty much once Lost Galaxy came into play, it's just the Rangers had to be more adult and had to, I guess you'd say, mature up. And yeah, I thought that was shown really well in Lost Galaxy. Oh yeah, this also had the first full Ranger team-up episode. With To the Tenth Power and Power of Pain, because those are fucking great. But, uh, yeah, Lost Galaxy, I'm also going to put in Morphin Master, because while not as good as in space, it's still a damn good follow-up and still a really good show in the franchise. But, uh, yeah. Okay, the next show we have is Lightspeed Rescue. Now, Lightspeed Rescue is a bit of a decline when it comes to just following up with Lost Galaxy and in space and that stuff, but in my opinion, Lightspeed Rescue was still, again, another really good show in the series. Now, when it came to the Rangers side of things, I think they definitely had some really cool ones, like Carter, he's one of the best Red Rangers, pretty much in the franchise, in my opinion, and yeah, the rest of the team was really good, too, but I feel like the show was a bit more on the boring side when it's not 
focusing on Carter, but still, I thought this show was, again, another example of Power Rangers with another example of a Power Rangers show with both good storytelling and a lot of really emotional drama and entertaining ones, too. So, I'm going to put this in Ultra Zord, but, again, not, not really that high in Ultra Zord, because... Again, I think this series, again, is great, but not as good as the previous two. The next one, we, however, we have <laughs> fucking Time Force, and Power Rangers Time Force is, yet again, another one of the best shows in the franchise. Now, I know I talked about the previous Power Rangers seasons, like In Space and Lost Galaxy, being truly where the show started to actually start to give a shit about their story, but I think this is really the first season in the franchise that really took a darker tone. Now, it's not as dark as perhaps one of the later shows on this list, or in this tier list, but Time Force is pretty freaking dark compared to a lot of the previous seasons of Power Rangers, because of stuff like, well, the, when it comes to the cast, this is one of the best casts in lineup of Rangers we've ever had in a Power Rangers season, in my opinion. Like, nearly every member is really freaking good, and have a lot of depth to them, but, uh, yeah, and I also really love the episodes in here. Like, one of my personal favorites is the episode Trip Takes a Stand, which actually covers a pretty heavy issue, that being racism, which I've heard some people just describe Power Rangers as a generic uh, kid show tailored towards boys or something like that, or I think there's, like, one person, I think, who's told me that before. But I'd just point to that episode in particular, and I'd be like, are you, you st sure you still want to say that? But... Yeah, Time Force was a really freaking good season, and when it comes to the villains, uh, Rancic is one of my favorite villains in this franchise, although uh, the team-up episode they had in this one, not as good as the previous ones, and I also kind of just realized I completely skimmed over the crossover and Lightspeed Rescue, uh, that was great, but the one in Time Force wasn't that good, but... Other than that, which, again, isn't even that bad, Time Force, one of the best seasons by far. I'm gonna put it in Morphin Master. It's chilling among the other two seasons that are in there, but, uh, yeah, really like Time Force. Okay, the next one we have is a bit of an underrated one, in my opinion. We have Power Rangers Wild Force. Now, Wild Force, I don't necessarily see you get a whole lot of shit, but I don't see you get a lot of praise either, which does suck, because other than... <laughs> like, just completely disregarding the fact that the guy who played the Red Ranger stabbed his roommate with a sword. This was a very entertaining, again, another entertaining show in the franchise. Now, it didn't take itself as seriously as something like Time Force, and I don't think the Ranger lineup is as good as Time Force, but, again, it's just another show that I thought was pretty fun, and, again, had a lot of cool characters, like... Uh, Cole, for example, even though, again, like I said about the guy who played him, Cole was a very entertaining ranger, and again, I also like the other members for the most part, and this had the two best ranger team-up episodes in the franchise. Reinforcements from the Future and Forever Red are fucking fantastic team-ups. I recommend both of those hugely. And even though the rest of the show is great, too, I think the... Two team up episodes solidify the show's placement in the Ultra Zord tier, cause yeah, the, those two were just really fucking good. But uh, yeah. Anyways, now onto the next season, which is now technically Wild Force was the start of the Disney era, but I th I consider the true start of the Disney era to be Ninja Storm, cause this is really where they changed locations and yeah, just it, just the overall vibe was different than the previous ones. But uh, yeah, Ninja Storm. I really wish I watched the season more growing up, because I really freaking like Ninja Storm. Now, again, this is another season that doesn't take itself as seriously. Well, I'm actually moving it close to the tier that it's in. But, uh, yeah, uh, Ninja Storm really didn't take itself as seriously as the other ones. Like, yeah, the, the writing in this one is definitely a lot more, I guess you'd say, tongue-in-cheek and more on the... I guess you'd say satirical side, and again, it doesn't take itself very seriously, but that's what I really liked about this season. It, it, it's pretty lighthearted and just a fun season overall. And again, I really liked the Ranger lineup for the most part. Now, unfortunately, this is one of the seasons to skip out on a Ranger team up, but they aren't exactly mandatory. But yeah, Ninja Storm, again, not much to say about it, but it's just a really fun 
really well written show, and I, I love its theme song. That's another thing I'll say. I really like Ninja Storm's theme song, but uh, yeah. Anyways, the next show we have is the even better Dino Thunder. Now, Dino Thunder, maybe I'm a bit biased here because this was one of the ones that I watched the fuck ton growing up, but I just really fucking like Dino Thunder. Now, this is, in my opinion, a legacy season done right. Not like another season, which we'll talk about later in the list, but Dino Thunder did a very good job, well, again, at being a legacy season, and also just at being a season altogether. Uh, one of my favorite aspects of this show is, again, just the, the Ranger lineup. Uh, pretty much every Ranger in this team is very likable. Uh, the, the one that I like the least, I know this sound, may sound a little bit weird to some people, but I probably have to say Connor is my least favorite. Now, when I say he's my least favorite, I'm not saying I don't like him, because, I mean, he, he, he's cool enough, but I think the other, other Rangers, I think, do, I guess you'd say, a better job at well, being characters, I guess you'd say, but... Yeah, another thing I really liked about this show is... Well, it was, again, kind of more on the lighthearted side of things a little bit. It also had a lot of dark elements, like, especially the freaking villain in this season. That was... He was really freaking dark, and just a real... One of my favorite Ranger villains, personally. And, oh yeah, they, they also have the Ranger team up in this one with Ninja Storm... One of the best Ranger team-ups, in my opinion. Probably, like, my third or fourth favorite or so. But, uh, yeah, Dino Thunder, one of the best seasons. And I'm going to put this in Morphin Master, along with the other seasons. Uh, where exactly I'd rank them on these four, I don't know. Or in the top ten, I don't know. But, again, Dino Thunder is just a kick-ass season. Okay, the next one we have is SPD. Now, this one's... Slightly more on the underrated side, in my opinion. Now, not that, again, it doesn't get very much shit, but... I don't see it get enough praise, I guess you'd say, because SPD was, again, another solid show in the Disney lineup. Now, I'm not... This is probably one of the weaker seasons in... Well, I don't know if I'd say it's one of the weaker ones in the Disney era, but... This one definitely had some problems. Like, for example, while the Ranger lineup was mostly very good for the most part, there were a couple that I really didn't think were all that great. Like, the Pink Ranger, I just thought she was really bland. I don't even remember her name. And uh, Sam, the Sith Ranger that they had, yeah, he was really freaking bland too. But for the most part, SPD was a very entertaining season. Again, had a great lineup of characters. The Ranger lineup was very good. Uh, the two team-ups that they had with Dino Thunder, yes, they had two Dino Thunder team-ups, uh, I thought they were pretty good, but, again, I feel like the, the previous seasons and maybe even some later down the line had better team-ups, but still, the one in S the ones in SPD were pretty cool, and, again, I like the tone this one took. Also, it has, in my opinion, the best theme song of any Power Rangers season, so, yeah, Ultra Zord it goes. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of shows in this tier, but... Yeah, okay, Mystic Force. This is probably the most mid-season of the show that I could ever think of, or this is, like, the most mid-season of the show, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong, I really do like Mystic Force. It is a pretty, pretty solid season for the most part, although, again, it's just, like I said, it's just a very mid-season. Uh, the Ranger lineup was... Mostly good for the most part. I really liked Xander. I thought he was a really cool ranger. And there were some other ones that I liked. Uh, the overall tone I thought was pretty cool. It's kind of like a mix of Harry Potter and Power Rangers. I thought that was cool. But I don't know. There was just something about that se this season that I really didn't like as much as the other ones. And Nate the Red Ranger, yeah, he's one of the worst. And just one of my least favorites now. I don't absolutely despise them, but they really didn't need to give that much attention to a character that wasn't really that interesting. So, yeah, uh, this is the first season in Battleizer now. This is, in my opinion, the beat. This is basically what I call the B tier, because I think it's a good season, but it's not a great one. I don't think it's as good as the ones above it, obviously. Although, another thing I'll do this season, it has a very catchy theme song. Yeah, it is more on the rap side of things, but... It's pretty entertaining, catchy rap, so, yeah, sure, it's good. But, uh, yeah, again, I just thought it was one of the weaker Disney seasons. 
Now, to go back to one of the lower-rated seasons that I'm going to be putting here. Operation Overdrive. Now, I do have a bit of positive memories with this one, or I do have positive memories with this one, because this is another season I watched a lot of as a younger kid, and, I mean, there are still some things that I really like about it, or stuff that I like about it. Like, I think some of the Rangers are cool. Uh, Match, I think, is a decent Red Ranger... Uh, the theme song kind of has is pretty solid, and so bad it's a good category. And uh, the ones the Ranger episode was mostly pretty solid. I mean, yeah, it definitely had its issues, but it was good. And again, this franchise, this season did have some good episodes, but the season really isn't just wasn't that great, in my opinion. Uh, the Ranger lineup is one of the worst ones, in my opinion, because other than Mac and, I'd say, Rose, there really weren't that many good Rangers in this season. I mainly just find them I found them either bland or just really annoying, and I think I just say that about most of the characters in general, uh, except Spencer. Uh, Spencer is fucking amazing, but, yeah, the season just... I don't really know what to say. I mean, I like the concept of it, like, the kind of... And the way I described Misfit Force was kind of like Harry Potter meets Power Rangers. This one's kind of like Indiana Jones meets Power Rangers. But, again, it really could have just been better as a whole. Now, I do like it, but I gotta be frank here and say it's not very good. I'm gonna put it at the top of the bulk and scroll tier because I think it has more going for it than Turbo. But, I, I don't know. I just really didn't. Well, I just won nearly as much, or I didn't think it was as good as the Disney season as the other ones, but... Yeah, I didn't. I don't think it's all bad. The next one, Jungle Fury. This is one of the best seasons of the show. Like, seriously, this... This is the season that really revived the Disney era, in my opinion. It made it... I think I might like the Saban era, like the early Saban era, a little bit more, but... This really just solidified the the Disney era as just really fucking good. Now, again, I do have three Disney seasons in the top tiers already, but... Yeah, Jungle Fury was just really entertaining. Now, this was another season that was a bit more on the lighthearted side of things, I'd say, at points, but... It's just a really freaking fun season. I love the characters, I love the theme song, especially the theme song, I love the story... There's a lot of really good character depth in this one, and again, I just really liked the Ranger lineup. But, uh, yeah, again, not much to say about it, but it's a fantastic season, and I'm gonna have to put this in the Morphin Master tier as well, along with the <laughs> other four currently. But, uh, yeah, I really love Jungle Fury. Okay, the next one, this is gonna be the last season that we're gonna be putting in the Morphin Met. Uh, well, I kinda just spoiled it already there, but, yeah, RPM is the next season. This is, without a doubt, one of the best seasons of Power Rangers. And in my opinion, the last really good one, until a certain one that we'll talk about. But, yeah, RPM was a fucking fantastic season. Now, I'd put this in the Time Force boat of being a lot darker than the previous seasons that came before it. Especially in the Disney era, like... Not only was this more darker, but I'd also just say on a technical level, the show is really good. Like, the camera shots, the cinematography, the writing when it comes to both, like, scene writing, I guess you'd say, and just the script itself is really good. Uh, the Ranger lineup was fucking great in this one. I really liked pretty much everyone here, especially Mr. I'm Scottish. <laughs> Sorry, I had to pull that meme there, but yeah, again, I just really fucking like RPM, and... The theme song to the official one, I don't know what to say about it. Lyrically, I think it's ass, but it's instrumental is very cool. But, again, theme songs don't define seasons. And RPM, it's, like I said, like I basically just spoiled earlier, it's going to be the last season in the Morphin Master tier. Pretty high up on the Morphin Master tier at that. Uh, I'm kind of fighting between which one I'd put above each other when it comes to Dino Thunder and RPM, but, yeah, RPM it was... It really ended the Disney era with a bang, because, again, RPM is just really good. Now, this is where we start to get more on the negative side of things again, because now we have the Nickelodeon seasons. Oh, boy, these ones. 
Okay, let's start with the Sam with Power Ranger Samurai because I think this is one of the better ones from this time. Now, Samurai. I think this may have actually been my introduction to Power Rangers, or I don't. Well, I don't quite know about that, but. I mean, I was literally in kindergarten when this season fucking started, or I was in, like, really early elementary school when this came out, and, yeah, granted, at the time, I obviously enjoyed it, just, well, what else can I really say? As a kid, I pretty much loved everything, but, yeah, Samurai, not the just fan of this one. Now, again, I don't think it's that bad, because it definitely had its positives. Uh, I thought the Ranger lineup was... Eh, I mean, it wasn't the worst one they had, but there weren't really a whole lot of good ones. Now, I love the Gold Ranger, Antonio. I think he's a very cool ranger, but the other ones either were just hit or miss or just ones that I really didn't like. But, yeah, again, this season did have some positives, like the theme song, for example. I actually might go as far as to say I think I actually liked this, this theme song in Samurai over the Mighty Morphin one. Well... At least over the short version, anyway, but... Yeah, Samurai, again, this one's kind of hard to explain, but... I don't know, there's just something about it I didn't really like as much. Now, I think Super Samurai was a little bit better, but... Again, not by that much. I'm gonna put this one in Bulk and Stroll as well, because, again, I think it's kind of just average for a season, but... Again, not the hugest fan of it. Uh, I think it's a little bit worse than Operation Overdrive, but... I think it had, again, a little bit more going for it than Turbo. Okay, Megaforce, do I really need to explain this one? Yeah, I'm on the boat. That really doesn't like this one. Again, what can I really say about Megaforce that hasn't been said already? Uh, the right lineup of Rangers mostly sucked, with the exception of Noah. Uh, the writing sucked. It just really was not a good season. Again, I can't really go into huge depth because, again, this season's just... So many people freaking talk talked about this season that I, I can't really even say anything really new about it. Again, it's just... I just don't like this season. But, uh... Yeah, now, definitely on the more positive side, we have Dino Charge. This is where I think Saban, for a short period of time, got his spark back, I guess you'd say, because... Dino Charge, in my opinion, was a very solid season. Now, I haven't seen this one nearly as much as the other ones, but I will say that from what I have seen of it, it's a very nice season. Uh, I love, I really like the characters that they had in this one. Uh, the writing was on the better side compared to the other ones. But, uh, yeah, again, not much else to say. Just, I think Dino Charge was pretty good. And Super Dino Charge, I can't quite say for that, but the original regular Dino Charge, yeah, it's cool. Anyways, now on to the last season, which is Ninja Steel. From what I've seen of Ninja Steel, not a fan of this one. Yeah, just, I don't really know what else to say. Just not very good from what I've seen of it. Again, can't really say much, but... Yeah, anyways, that was my Power Rangers season tier list. Uh, again, I, I may do some more Power Rangers videos later down the line, maybe, but... Yeah, for now, this is my tier list, so... Might as well go over, like, do a little quick fire round of each season and each one. The Morphin Master tier contains In Space, Time Force, Dino Thunder, RPM, Lost Galaxy, and Jungle Fury. The Ultra Zord tier contains SPD, Ninja Storm, Zeo, Lightspeed Rescue, Wild Force, Dino Charge, and Mighty Morphin. Battleizer, the, it contains The Lonely Mystic Force. Vulcan Skull co contains Operation Overdrive, Samurai, and Turbo. And Rita's Dumpster contains Ninja Steel and Mega Force. Yeah, that's all I really had to say for this video. See you guys in the next one.